I've created two scrapey spiders in the same project. So this one is scraping from one domain. This one is scraping from another domain, completely different domains, completely different data. What I want to do is I want to run them from one single Python script. So we are going to learn how to do that. And, and we are also going to talk about some common problems that you might face and what will be the solution. So the first and most important thing where you keep your script. So your script has to be in the same folder where you have scrapy.cfg file. So it should be in the same folder. So let's start with importing the spiders. This is the project name. Inside that there is spider folder. Inside that there is books. And inside that there is book spider class. So remember we are importing the class. Now let's import the other one as well. So dot spiders dot quotes import all code spiders so that is the name now there are two ways to run the spiders and i'm going to talk about both the simpler way is to use the crawler process so let's import that so from scrapy dot crawler import crawler process so the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to create the instance of crawler process so let's call this process and then we are going to say process dot crawl and this is where you give the name of the class all right so once we are done with this now we can start this process so that's all we need to do so this is simple right so you just run the script and it is going to run your spider just like that okay but i'm going to stop it we don't want to run only one we want to run both of them so what do we do we add one more process.crawl and here we give the second name all right so i'm going to run this let's see now i'm going to look at the log carefully all right so here we have started the quotes to scrape.com okay let's go through the log and here you will see that books to scrape is also started again we have quotes all right books quotes what we can see is that all the spiders both the spiders have started at the same time so they are running parallelly all right there is one problem now what is the problem the problem is that the project settings they have been completely ignored so let's see what is there in the settings so if we said that we want the feeds to go into books.csv but if we look here there is no books.csv file that means the settings were not read okay so how do we do that? The solution is a pretty simple. So let's import one more method. Okay. So this one is in scrapy.utils.project and this one is called get project settings. So whenever we call this function, it is going to return the settings and the settings you can send to the constructor of crawler process. And this time if I run it, you will see that settings will be read and that books.csv file will be created. So scraping is complete. As you can see here, books.csv file is ready, which was not getting created because now it is reading from the settings. But there is one loophole. So what is the loophole? The loophole is that this setting is applied to the crawler process. That means the same settings will be applied for both these spiders. Okay. So this books.csv actually contains author title tags okay so it contains this and it will also contain the title and price right so, so it's all messed up completely messed up file so this is not what we want right so the solution is so go to settings file and remove this spider specific setting from here and you add that directly to the spider so in this spider you can add custom setting attribute and this one is a dictionary so the format will slightly change so that's all that is the only thing that you need to change similarly for quotes we can have its own custom setting and this will create quotes.csv file and let's run it so the run is now complete and as we can see that books.csv has been created and quotes.csv that also has been created so this was method number one so what is the second method? The second method is that instead of crawler process, we are going to make use of crawler runner. Now when we use crawler runner, we are actually going to use 
the twisted reactor which Scrapey uses underneath. So it's going to be a little bit more complicated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a shortcut. So this shortcut is nothing but reading the manual. Okay. So I have the help page open in front of you. Okay. So what we are going to do is there we go. So this is the code that we are going to copy and paste it. So configure logging. Okay. So this is something that we need to do. So let's import it. So this is an scrapy utils log configure logging. Okay. So this is the function that we need to call and the settings. We already know how to import the settings. All right. We know how to create crawler runner because that is same as crawler process. No change. Right. And now we have to give the class name of both the spiders so there we go so now i can safely delete it and we also need to import the reactor so this is the twisted reactor that we need to import so twisted internet react now so far the impact of this code is going to be the same all right so that means that both the spiders are running parallelly okay so if it is the same then why to bother with all that code something that is not easy to remember well, the benefit is that if you have a requirement where you want to run two spiders one by one sequentially, then this is the only way you can do it. Okay, so let's go back and let's take this code. So I'm going to paste it here. So this is my book spider and this is my all code spider. Okay, now the difference in this approach is that one the book spider has executed then only the second spider will start we need to import this defer as well so let's run this so here you can see that this is where the book spider has completed right so there we go so this is the finished of books and only after that the code spider started Alright, so that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.